Mayor Duggan says if the bus drivers union has an issue with safety, he and Chief Craig are ready to sit down and discuss them. Meantime, the union says there are laws on the books that are not being enforced to punish those who attack drivers. I've seen the videos and I find them very disturbing. Mayor Mike Duggan says he stands behind DDOT's decision to suspend a bus driver who the city says initiated physical contact with the passenger a few weeks ago. That's after the rider crossed a barrier into the driver's space. This altercation stemming from the passenger not wearing a mask and the driver refusing to drive off. When you look at the response, I, I got to tell you, I, I'm disturbed by the response. It wasn't go back to your seat. It wasn't stay back behind the line. The driver's suspension prompted all drivers to walk out Friday. The union emphasizes it did not authorize this action and it violates the contract with the city. But they're demanding greater protection. Their answer to that is we're going to file an injunction. We're you know, they gave us some things that they could do hopefully in 45 days to close to Christmas and, and I don't know, just to appease us so we could go back, but we're under constant danger out there. Union President Glenn Tolbert says his drivers feel like their hands are tied. You're afraid to not do anything because you'll go home in a body bag or, or something, um, or, or you... Um, you're afraid to do something and be in jeopardy of losing your livelihood. City leadership says they hear the frustrations. The driver is getting due process. We'll have the right to appeal and undergo arbitration. So DDOT and the mayor demand drivers not leave riders stranded. We're open and we're honest and we're going to do the right thing. And I say to the drivers of Detroit, come back to work. Mayor Duggan says if this goes to court, the union will lose. In downtown Detroit, Darren Cunningham. 7 Action News.